We first brought this to you as breaking news at four. In the last few hours, police have identified the officer killed as Detective Greg Ferency. The FBI says at 2.15 this afternoon, the detective was ambushed and shot at local FBI office in Terre Haute. An FBI agent, as you heard earlier, shot the suspect. That suspect is in custody and receiving treatment at the hospital. The FBI now investigating. Detective Ferency was a 30-year veteran of the Terre Haute Police Department who just received an exceptional service award for his time on the force. He was a federal task force officer for the FBI since 2010. Fox 59's Justin Kolar is live in Terre Haute this evening. He's been there throughout the day. And Justin, you spoke with police. So what else have you learned about this investigation? Yeah, Dan and Birchell, as you can see by the lights still flashing behind me across the street from where those shots rang out earlier today, the status of this investigation is still ongoing. We spoke with friends and co-workers of Greg Ferency who say that his presence here at the Terra for Terra Hope Police Department will greatly be missed. We just received an official statement from the FBI about 30 minutes ago, and they are leading the investigation, of course, on this one after one of their own and a 30 year member of the Terra Hope Police Department, Greg Ferency, was killed in in the line of duty earlier today. Everyone from the governor on down to everyday residents here in the Wabash Valley paid their respects to this public servant who paid it all on the line of duty earlier today. It's, it's a time for all of us to pause and reflect. All lights, no sound. Sometimes there's just nothing left to say. It's a sad day for this community and for the Terre Haute Police Department. Dozens stopped what they were doing to honor the fallen officer this evening as he passed his police station one final time. Seeing all these people out here, that was uh, support that we need. At 2.15 this afternoon, Greg Ferency was ambushed and fatally shot at the FBI Indianapolis Resident Agency in Terre Haute, a community he served for three decades. It's very difficult. We, it was somebody that we see every day. Edward Tompkins worked alongside Greg for nearly all of them. He paid his respects tonight in silence. Together for 29 years uh, on the job and off duty jobs and uh, got to know him real well. As brothers behind the badge, Tompkins knows the sacrifice put on display today is just part of the job. Every time we come out and do this job, we know the chances of this happening is possible. It doesn't make saying goodbye any easier. We owe Greg a debt gratitude that life will never be able to be repaid. Gratitude, respect, sacrifice, a commitment to community. Although the world for these officers has come to uh, a, a standstill, um, the needs of the community go on. Now, there is still much we don't know yet tonight, guys, but we are continuing to learn more. We do know that the suspect was shot by another FBI agent in pursuit after Greg was shot. He is receiving treatment at a nearby hospital. We're told that the police chief of the Terre Haute Police Department, along with the FBI, will have that joint press conference some point tomorrow where we expect to learn a lot more information, of course, tomorrow. But our hearts tonight go out to Greg Ferency's family. We are reporting live in Terre Haute this evening. I'm Justin Kolar, Fox 59 News. Yeah, indeed. So many people thinking of his family, thinking of the Terre Haute Police Department department tonight. Justin, thanks so much. Three Terre Haute officers have been killed in the line of duty in the last 10 years. Officer Robert Pitts was killed in 2018 and Officer Brent Long was killed in 2011. The president of the Indianapolis Fraternal Order of Police says tonight is a time to pause and reflect. It's a reminder of uh, not just what our officers do on a daily basis, but what they're willing to do. Um, that our officers know each day that uh, uh, they put their lives on the line uh, for the communities that they serve. The critical incident team with the Indiana FOP is deployed in Terre Haute tonight. They're assisting Detective Ferency's family and will be available to help plan services to honor his life. Your show. This evening, law enforcement across Indiana are honoring Doc Detective rather, Ferency. IMPD is among the many departments posting condolences on social media. Metro Police tweeted its thoughts and prayers are with Terre Haute Police, family members, and the community as well. Well, we're getting statements from politicians tonight sharing their condolences. Governor Eric Holcomb calls what happened today senseless. He says, quote, our heart breaks for Detective Greg Ferency's family, loved ones, and those who served with him every day, protecting the residents of the Wabash Valley. The head volleyball coach at Purdue University tweeting this this evening. 
Coach David Shondell says Detective Ferency was a loyal supporter of the Boilermakers and often went to matches with his daughter. Shondell says, quote, we will continue to compete for him. We are still working to learn more information about this investigation tonight. The FBI is leading that investigation because an FBI agent shot the suspect and because this happened at the agency's office. We expect an update from the FBI and Terre Haute Police tomorrow, so we hope you will stick with us here on Fox 59, both on air and online, for the latest developments.